Hi everyone, it's me again, Mr. Ho, your ICT and STEM teacher. From previous videos, my team and I have talked about the basic structure and the techniques on how to use Gmail and Google Classroom. How did you do? Were you able to follow us? Today, I'm going to show you a new technique on how to upload a picture to Google Classroom through your mobile device. Also, I'm going to show you how to do corrections in Google Classroom after your teacher marked your assignment. Are you ready? Let's take out your phone or tablet and get started. First, you have to choose an assignment that you want to upload an image to. Again, all assignments should be located in the classroom panel within your class. If you forget how to get into Google Classroom, you can click here to see the step-by-step -step instruction. After getting into the assignment that you choose, you will find an arrow button at the bottom section. If you tap it, it will show you two options. The first option is Add Attachment, and the second option is Mark as Done. By simply tapping the first option, it will bring up a list of file types. Now, when you select the option of Use Camera, it will allow you to take a picture with your device. Once you take a picture, it will show a file on the top section of your screen. After that, please tap the Turn In button. Again, don't forget to click the Turn In button. If not, your teacher will not be able to see or receive your work. How do you do? Were you able to upload your pictures to Google Classroom? Of course, I know you can do it. Now, let's talk about how to do corrections in Google Classroom. After a teacher marks your assignment, they will upload another image with a name beginning with edited. As you tap on the file, you will see the markings from your teachers. When you do correction, you will need to do it in the free space right next to your question inside your workbook. Afterward, you will follow the steps again to upload your corrections as a picture. Here is a tip for you. We highly suggest you to circle the correction number before you do the correction. This way, your teacher will know which correction they should correct and give you the points. After you finish doing corrections, you may see the assignment is still counting as missing. But don't worry, this label will change to complete once the teacher marks your correction. So far, how do you feel about using the upload function in Google Classroom? Take some time to explore what you have learned in this video. I know you can do it. I will see you in the next video. Bye!